Hello guys, today I'm going to show you the top 5 most important plugins to have on your Android server. Before going any further, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click on the subscribe button and turn on the post notification for more videos in the future. Let's get right into it. Number 5 Now you must be a person who shut down reboots or stop start your array from the main menu tab. I was one of you. No worries, I have got you the solution. It's a dynamic system buttons. So what this plugin does is, it will give you a, a button on your top right corner as you see here, which can be accessed to shut down, reboot, sleep or stop the array from any tab in your server. So to install this one, what you need to do is you need to go to your community apps tab and search for dynamic system buttons. Now as you see here, <coughs> click on that one and click install <coughs> as I have already installed it on my server I don't need to if you haven't just click install and automatically this plugin will be uh, installed and the icon on the top right corner will be appeared and you should be able to uh, select the shutdown or reboot or sleep commands from any tab in your server number four you have built your brand new Android server created a VM but you have some problems in passing through your USB card capture card like devices to your VM. No worries, VFI your PCI CFG plugin is the solution. So what this plugin does is, uh, this will help you to pass through any device in your server very easily. So if you have already enabled IO MMU from BIOS and if you have, uh, let's say if you go to settings and if you go to uh, say VM manager, here if you have enabled PCI ACS override and uh, those kind of settings but still you will have to pass through your devices so if you go to tools you see all your system devices listed but you aren't able to pass through them because you need to get this uh, device ID and paste it into the uh, USB drives flash drives uh, location and that is much more complicated so the easiest way is to go to community app step search for VFIO PCI config okay click install so as I have already installed it I don't need to after installing if you go to settings you should be able to see uh, VFIO PCI config uh, plugin click on it and as you see here these are all the devices uh, listed so as I have already done as you see here this is one of my USB controllers so I have selected this one and passed through this one so if you need to pass through your uh, USB controller, just click on this uh, specific uh, controller's uh, ID and scroll down, click build VFI or PCI config and click save. So after you will have to reboot your server, but after rebooting your server, if you go back to your VM step and go to one of your VMs, you should be able to see the pass through controller displayed in your VM settings. So just like that. You will be able to pass through any sort of uh, device like USB controllers, capture cards uh, to your VMs very easily using VFI or PCI config. Number three. You have built your server to store very important personal data like photos, videos, or schoolwork. Let's say by accident you delete your data and lose all of it. So that is a problem you might have to face in the future or that you have faced in the past. So to prevent losing them forever, we are going to use a recycle bin plugin. So First of all, what you need to do is you need to have to install Recycle Beam plugin. So just search for it and click install. So I have already installed it on my server. So after installing it, uh, go back to your settings and you should be able to see the plugin installed. Click on it. Uh, normally it will be disabled, so you will have to enable this plugin. So from here, after enabling, uh, there are some settings you can configure or as you can just leave it as it is. So by default in my server, I have configured it to uh, keep the recycle bin files up to seven days uh, and exclude only temp files so if you have specific uh, file formats that you need to exclude you can just uh, give the extension in here so let's see how this works so if I go to my server's uh, share folder or oh, I'm going to select this one so this is one of the video files I'm just going to select both of them and I'm going to delete them so here you get the message that you are going to permanently delete these two items. No problem because I have installed the recycle bin plugin in my server already. So I'm just going to press yes. So 
so now those files are gone but don't worry as the recycle bin plugin is installed there is a hidden folder created in this same share path so if i click view and click hidden items you can see the recycle bin folder if i open this one here you are able to see the two files that i just deleted from my share path so what you need to do is if you need to replace them just go into that cut and paste it back here that's all and if you need to hide the recycle bin folder again just uh, go to view and uncheck the hidden items check mark so just like that you are able to uh, use the recycle bin plugin and you are able to uh, say recover your files if you accidentally delete them from your android server easily number two say you have a couple of usb drives which needs to be accessed but can't because you are out of usb ports on your usb pci card the only way to access is using your onboard USB ports, but you can't pass through the controller cause unread USB drives plug into the controller. So solution is Livebird Hot Plug USB. So Livebird uh, Hot Plug USB is uh, one of the plugins which uh, are easily used to hot plug USB drives. So just install Livebird or just search for Hot Plug. So Hot Plug USB, Livebird Hot Plug USB. So click install of the plugin. After installing, uh, as I have already installed, I don't need to say uh, you need to plug in a USB drive to pass through. Just go to your VMs tab, and here you are able to see the hot plug USB uh, plugin uh, displayed. And if you have uh, plugged in a USB drive to one of the USB ports which are used by the Android operating system or which are normally used by the system, uh, after plugging in that USB drive, you should be able to see the drive here so as I, as you see here this is the drive that i have already plugged in uh, additional to my uh, unread usb drive so just click on the specific usb drive that you want and click on the vm that you want to access it from so currently this uh, video is recorded on one of the vms of my unread server so i'm just going to select windows 10 gaming vm so which is the one i'm currently working on and click attach so as you just heard it is attached if I go back to my uh, my computer and here you are able to see the uh, USB drive plugged in uh, and it's working so if I want to create something inside this no problem I can just create it and easily edit it so sometimes there are uh, issues that this device might not connect uh, so in that case you can uh, try and uh, see whether it is not uh, attached with the letter or not so to check that go to manage go to disk management and sometimes what will happen is the usb drive is attached but no letter will be given to the drive so say for an example just like this so if i did this you can't see the usb drive but the drive is attached so to make it available for us to use just click on the drive's uh, partition click change uh, drive letters and click add give whatever the letter you want and press ok so just like that you should be able to pass through it number one last and final is something to control yourself so control r is a plugin which can be used within the mobile application on android or apple to monitor start stop array uh, and start stop your vms uh, from your mobile phone uh, if it is an apple or an android so first what you need to do is you need to go to your community apps tab and search for control r so this is the application i have already installed this on my server after installing this go to settings go to control r enable this server so i have already enabled this one on my server uh, after enabling you need to go to your mobile phone and install the application i will just show you it uh, in a little bit so after installing uh, controller on your uh, android server you will have to go to your play store and search for controller so this application is uh, not a free application you will have to pay around five dollars on android as well as on apple store so just keep that in mind but it's very useful even though you pay five dollars and it's a small price to pay for big advantages so after paying it uh, install it so i have already installed it on my uh, mobile phone uh, now after installing it just open the app 
and normally you won't get this interface uh, at first because you need to add your server so to add your server just click on the plus icon on the top right corner and give the server details on he, on this page so the port number of your current server's uh, web interface and the username and the password so if you have https uh, enabled on your android server and uh, then enable this one if not just uh, give the information and it should work automatically if it doesn't go to manual option give your ip address of your android server port number username password and any name that you want uh, to be appeared on this uh, application so after adding it you should be able to see something like this so just click on it and as you see here i can see all the drives functioning if they are currently spinning or not and the storage that is used and left and my unassigned drives if i need to start stop vms i can start from vms from here if i need to enable disable dockers i can do it from this page uh, so operations if i need to stop the array or check a parity i can do that check logs so all those kind of things can be done even power off and power on my server so if you you can power on your server if you have a online en uh, enabled in your motherboard if not it doesn't work but if it does then that's a feature uh, which you have using this application so i hope this video was a useful and helpful one so support the channel by subscribing and giving a like see you guys around thank you and goodbye